So Stuart, Arsenal, good start to the season, a couple of draws, a couple of wins, how do you think they're looking so far? Good, yeah they are looking good, I think that's because they've got a much better defensive understanding, their strategy is better uh, when they haven't got the ball, and that's the thing I've been talking about for quite some while. If they get that side of the game right, they've got every chance of causing a problem in the uh, Barclays Premier League. I mean they've conceded just one goal as you say so far in four games, what do you think's changed over the summer? Obviously Steve Bolt's come in, helped out with yeah, Arsenal. I, I, think, I think it's more to, to do with the, the tactics they're using. Steve Bolt's come in, he's obviously doing a bit of work in training, something they didn't do before. But they're now not trying to hold too high a line and trying to, to, to squeeze up when there's no pressure on the ball. Uh, they are making sure when they do go forward they've got cover in midfield so that when the fullbacks go forward, midfield players can get out and, and, and uh, deal with situations. And there's a greater urgency and a determination to defend. They got Lucas Podolski in early this time. Mm -hmm. How, how good can he be for Arsenal? He's been very good so far. He's played in a wide left position on occasions. Uh, yesterday against Southampton he played as the centre forward, but he still dropped off and, and linked up the play. But he's also got uh, a bit more speed than I thought he had and, and a bit more power. So he's done really well for Arsenal and he's looked a good signing. And against Liverpool he did a lot of good defensive work. They've got some interesting games coming up now, notably the next two Premier League games are against uh, Manchester City and Chelsea, but Champions League comes into play now, they've got Montpellier, Olympiacos and Schalke as their three teams in their group. Do you think that should be an easy group for them to progress? No group is easy, but I think Arsenal should win those games quite comfortably. Montpellier have not had a great start in the French League, you know, they had that outstanding season last year, but they've lost their best player to Arsenal, Olivier Giroud. Uh, Olympiacos aren't quite the same team as they were when they were spending big money a couple of years ago. And Schalke, um, we've seen over the years, yes, they've got some forward threat, but they're not particularly good defensively. So I think Arsenal should come through that quite easy. The big test will be the next two games in the Barclays Premier League.